Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to be working on a C8 Corvette. Uh, on this one, I'm going to be doing the uh, Z06 front end conversion. Uh, the customer already bought the bumper. So right now what I'm going to be doing is taking this front uh, bumper off and then I'm going to test fit the other one just because it's aftermarket. Sometimes they don't fit. So I'd rather modify it before I paint it. Uh, but looking at the quality of that bumper, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, normally these aftermarket bumpers on Corvettes, when you want to do the, the, you know, the Z06 or ZR1 or whatever, on the C7, in my experience where that they were real messed up, like the corners and all that. But this one's really, really, really good. Real good quality. It's almost real close to OEM. Uh, and then same things with the, uh, all the uh, trims and stuff. Man, they're real good quality uh, for being aftermarket. I'm not sure what company he bought it from, uh, when if I uh, I want to ask them and I'll put it, I'll put the links uh, on the comments. Uh, so yeah, guys. So you guys stay tuned for uh, the removal, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. What's up guys? So I, uh, I skipped, I didn't record whenever I was test fitting me just because it was like, I couldn't hold the camera. I didn't have anybody to help me with the camera. So I'll put some pictures here so you can, you can see how it fit. Uh, the gaps are pretty, I mean, they look good actually. Uh, the only problem that I did have was uh, small imperfections. You know, it's obviously a mold, it's not OEM. So I had to uh, like sections like this little areas here. That's why I had the primer because I was going to put the sealer and uh, paint it but uh, there was a few areas where it was real sharp and so i had to go with the filer and uh, file some of those sections out and uh, to make them nice and smooth so you can still see some right here uh but yeah so i decided to put some primer i put three coats of uh primer on here and then once it dries up i'm gonna block sand it because i saw some imperfections right here There's some high spots and i got a low spot right there so i want to make sure this sucker is perfect because uh not not because it's just the core of it, it's just me. I like to block sand stuff. I don't like low spots or, or high spots. So I want to make sure this sucker is nice and smooth. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to let it dry. Uh, I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then you know, obviously tomorrow I'll put the guide coat on there and block sand it. And then if everything works out, you know, put another, I'll put a sealer and then uh, put the paint on there. Uh, I got the paint match ready. So the paint's ready. Uh, the black and the red is ready. Uh, and then the plastics, the other, uh, the inserts are ready to go. There's no body work on that. I'm just cleaning with rubbing alcohol and and uh, put that uh, uh, plastic uh, promoter and they're ready to go. So uh, you guys stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
There's this Corvette. Uh, but unfortunately, I had to take it apart again. Uh, I'm not happy with the finish that I got on it. The color, it's a little bit off. It's I don't want to turn it like this. This is not what I do. Uh, I knew better to blend it, but I didn't. And uh, this is what I got. And it's just a little bit off. Um, the reason I didn't blend it was because I was hoping that the, mon the, mo the color was going to be close to where I didn't have to mess with the factory clear. Uh, which I feel really dumb now because now I gotta take take this whole thing apart again, brace material, and stuff like that. But it's okay. Uh, thankfully, the customer understood that you know, I, you know, I can't turn in like this. Uh, I'm gonna fix it, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So basically, uh, right now, obviously, I gotta take it apart again. Uh, but before that, uh, I'm gonna be working on the taking the rear diffuser or whatever they call that, the rear fascia. Uh, he bought a Z06 rear wing uh carbon fiber check it out it looks really cool so we were going to paint this to match the rest of the black parts but he decided to leave it a carbon fiber looks i think it looks really nice like this uh so i thought it was just going to be where you can access the nuts removing the tail legs like you can on the z06 i mean on the, on the, Z06, the c6 model but uh this one you have to take the whole fascia off so you got to take the rear wheel off, the inner fender well to access there's some nuts back here somewhere and then, you know, when open the hatch, there's some other bolts here. But yeah, so I got to take the whole rear fascia off to remove that wing. Uh, so yeah, guys, so you guys stay tuned and uh, talk to you guys in a bit. What's up guys? So I'm finally done with this Corvette. Check it out. Got the uh, paint at the front end, blended the paint into the fenders, into the hood. Sucker came out good. And we also did the wing in the back. So I had to repaint the, uh, the rear fascia to cover up the holes right here. And uh, that's what it looks like. Everything messed up. I'm out of my homeboy's house. Just dropped, he picked it up yesterday. We worked on it until about 10 o'clock at night. And look at him, look at him. He's right there chilling. We were going to take it to a car show, but uh, I don't know what happened. Nobody was there. So, yeah, we wanted to show it off. Uh, but, yeah, here's the owner. What do you think, bro? Man. You like it or what? Yeah, boy, it went off, man. Yeah, it's worth the wait. Baby Z06. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he was, uh, he would text me every day. I had to give him an update because I was like, man, I think it's taking too long. Took roughly about 
25 days, right? 25 days. Um, yeah, we just, I, I painted the bumper. I didn't want to mess with the, the original clear and I ended up just taking the whole car apart and did a blending job, which that's the way you should do it. And the wing, we had an issue where this wing only had uh, two main points of uh, where you put the boat. So I had to cover up some holes, but it came out real good. So as you guys can see, it's real, real nice. Uh, but uh, anyway, so this is going to be it for this video, guys. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one.